Hi DIYers, Joey from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about cellular alarm monitoring. Now what cellular monitoring is, is that it means that your alarm system has a cellular communicator and it's using that to communicate out to the central station, to any servers, to the remote access program that you have with your system, or wherever else it can send data. Many systems do have cellular communicator options. They're usually proprietary to that particular system or system line, and there are some third-party options that you can use to interface a cellular communicator on an older system if that system doesn't have a cellular communicator available or if you want to get it on a particular monitoring service with a particular monitoring company. A good example of that is a cellular communicator called the TG1E or the Telguard Express. It's actually a, a communicator, it's a little box, and you wire it up to a wired alarm system or, or all-in-one system if it can support it and it will actually let you interface that system with the cellular communicator and let the system work as a uh, system with cellular communication. It's a great option if you do have an older system and you don't want to upgrade the system itself and you just want to install a cellular communicator. Today though we're going to show you some of the systems that we have on the board and explain some of the different cellular communication options that you have in these systems. The first one that we can take a look at is our 21 IP over here. As you can see it has a main board, it has an onboard ethernet jack, and it also has an onboard proprietary cellular communicator. Now this cellular communicator can support all of the system's communication, so if you don't have an ethernet uh, network in the home available, you can install this board, power it up, and have it run right off the cellular communicator. What that'll do for you is it'll let the system work as a full alarm system. Uh, it can report any alarms. It'll also be able to be remotely accessed by your monitoring company. And Total Connect 2.0 will also work with the system. One of the downsides, though, to cellular communication is that it's going to be slower than Ethernet or Wi-Fi communication. So if you do have a remote app and you're using automation or you're arming through it, that's going to take a little bit longer to communicate over the cellular path than it would over an Ethernet or <clears throat> Wi-Fi network. Over here, we have the Qualsys IQ2. This system actually has the cellular communicator built right in, and there's different models available that you can buy. Now, on all of these systems, usually you have different options for which cellular network you're going to connect to. Most of the time, it's Verizon or AT&T if you live in the States. If you're in Canada, sometimes you'll have the Rogers option also, depending on which system you have. There's no difference, um, there's no difference between the, the operation of the cellular communicator you pick. For example, let's say the IQ2, there's a, there's a Verizon version and there's an AT&T version. They're going to give you the same operation. You just want to select the, the communicator that corresponds to the strongest signal in your area. That's why they give you those different options. So on this panel, the cellular communicator is built right in, interface to the unit, you just install it, you can connect it right to a cellular network, and it's good to go. And as far as connecting these to a cellular network, what I mean by that is when you power it on, as long as the module is registered and activated, it's going to connect to a cellular network. Each system also has a different way to activate your cellular module, so if you find that it's not working, when you activate with your monitoring company, they're going to be able to troubleshoot and diagnose the module and get it working for you. Over here, we have a GC3 system. This is from 2GIG. Just like the, uh, the IQ2, it works with the alarm.com service. This system doesn't have a built-in cellular module, but the proprietary cellular module for it easily installs right in the side of the system. It's a self-contained unit. You just slide it right in, and you're good to go. Down here, we have the GC2, which is the precursor to the GC3. This also can use cellular communication. It has a different module than the GC3. So if you do have the GC2, make sure you don't buy a GC3 cellular unit or else it won't work with the system. This one, the cellular module actually installs inside of the, the system itself on the main board. It's not difficult to do, it's just a different module than you would use on the GC3. Over here we have the Honeywell Lyric, which you may have seen, it's very popular. This, like the GC3, has a self-contained cellular module and it slides right into the side bay on the system itself. This comes off, cellular module goes in, and you're good to go. Down here, we have an L7000 from the Lynx line. These, depending on which panel you have, there um, is going to be a different cellular module that is going to be compatible with it. 
So if you do have a links panel, I do recommend contacting your security company or a security professional and just making sure that you're going to purchase the right one for your unit. This, like the GC2, the cellular module installs inside of the system itself. It just swings open, you pop it right on the board, put it back together, and you're good to go. So that's pretty much cellular communication. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. If you want to be updated when we post future videos, hit the notification button and we'll do so. If you have any questions, head over to the website, give us a call, send us an email, and have a great day.